Hi there everybody, my name is Helenique and on my left is Francesca, Krista, Marilena and Pinelopi. And we're very excited to be with you today because we're at the Elias Beach Hotel here in Limassol and we have the chance to have a very special discussion with three ladies, these lovely ladies that have just introduced themselves, who have been part of one of the greatest successes here in Cyprus. The Mind Body Spirit Exhibition is organized by these uh, three ladies and it's been running for a good 13 years. There has been uh, great successes in allowing and providing a space for anybody really, a therapist, a light worker, a teacher or trainer to have a stall and to present a workshop or a presentation at this conference which is in fact uh, an exhibition. So the Mind Body Spirit exhibition was originally started by Francesca and I wanted to ask uh, you today Francesca because we've been friends for a while we've known each other through the years I just wanted to get a sense of what you feel um, has been the, the greatest learning that you've had from running the MBS here in Cyprus what did you learn about <laughs> I learned a lot about myself I learned mm -hmm. about other people I learned about working with a lot of different people with a lot of different personalities with a similar goal, which uh -huh. was basically to help people. Right. Most, I would say most of the people who take part in the exhibition, particularly the therapists, yeah. are there because they benefited themselves from those therapies and they want to share with other people. Wow, that's great. And that was my motivation, and Annetta Martinson, who was the other founder right. of the series of Mind Body Spirit Exhibitions, we too had learned so much through various mind body spirit medallions, yoga, meditation, tai chi, um, many other energy kind of therapies, mm -hmm. that we really felt important to share this with other people. Right. So for us, it was from that passion of the benefit we had from this type of work mm -hmm. and wanting to share it that was the genesis of the mind body spirit. Wonderful. And you've done such a great job and uh, uh, my co-founder on the end of the table there, Penelope and myself, uh, we're running this uh, Yena Lithia conference. Uh, Penelope, maybe you can tell people a little bit about the conference and why it is that we, we came together with the MBS. Well, Yena Lithia is a conference for the women of Cyprus and basically the idea with Hellenique started um, a couple of years ago, one and a half year ago actually, mm -hmm. we sat together and we said we want to help with the men in this island to find their true voice, to find their strength, to believe again in themselves. So basically we wanted to empower them and one of the best ways to do that is through real examples, examples of women that they have already succeeded um, in their chosen field. So. In March 2015, we have organized the first women's conference. It was under the auspices of the First Lady, Mrs. Anastasiadis. And we had 15 extraordinary speakers, women, that they've covered different areas. We covered business, we covered self-development, we, we covered lots of stuff together with an, a small exhibition to bring, to give the chance to the women to show their work to the rest of the women that they have attended. And that's why we came with this idea with Hellenic that if we can collaborate with mind, body and spirit, this is a good example that women, yes, they can work together, women, they can support each other, and mind, body and spirit is a great example of an organization that they support different businesses. I know that it's not only for women, but again, there is collaboration in there. So, yeah, just to accept that, that it's really exciting that we've come together because we consider what we've done as an exhibition to be a great uh, example for, um, for a woman business that has really succeeded. We started at Francesca, and I know the two of you joined in. You would say the majority of people who participate are women. Yeah, the yeah. majority are women. And I know for you, Krista, it's Krista Christidis, you've been involved for three years, yeah? Yeah, nearly three years now. Okay, and what do you feel, for example, watching all these people come set up their stalls, uh, a lot of people are interested in spirituality, in, in 
developing themselves and sharing what they have with others. What do you think, watching all this unfolding and obviously living your own life all these years, what, what do you consider to be a really important issue that people are trying to resolve in the world right now? What do you feel is, is quite important for us to be concentrating on? Mm -hmm. Well, I believe that everything can be solved with love. Yeah. You know, they, I think that there should be a lot more love in the world, mm -hmm. a lot less negativity, mm -hmm. uh, a lot, a lot less um, not just negativity but uh, pes pessimism. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that we should wake up each morning filled with love, and then everything else just falls into place. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the most important element. And we see that a lot at the Mind, Body and Spirit exhibitions because people try to find ways not to be negative, mm -hmm. not to be pessimistic. And it's just great because you see a group of people, the MBS community as we call it, and you just see a, a, a room full of happy people that want to sh show others that the most important thing in life is to just be positive. And, uh, do everything with love. I think I really agree with you. There really is an atmosphere around the exhibitions of people uh, intending, at least intending very deeply to, to have a very positive and uh, supportive mm -hmm. atmosphere between them as yeah. people are running to lectures, as people are attending, sharing information. There's no, that's, uh, that's the most feeling. important thing. I mean, yeah. that's why we love uh, our work as well, because because we get that uh, positivity and that good energy from all the participants and all everyone that the visitors, the whole team is always positive. And what have you learned as a woman? What do you think is the biggest, the biggest challenge or struggle that women have in, uh, in the world right now and generally in building a career? <coughs> well, I wouldn't say in the world, but I would say in Cyprus in where Cyprus. I have experience. Okay. Um, I would say that the biggest uh, struggle in Cyprus is the, the fact that women have to juggle everything together. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of support. I mean, uh, the, I think that the mentality has to change a bit, in, especially in Cyprus, because women can be dynamic, women can do a lot of things. And a woman is not just a mother and a cleaner and, you know, I mean, women have a lot of potential, as much as men do, even though I don't want it to sound like it's a comparison between men and women. But uh, yeah, women are dynamic, and I think that the most important issue at the moment is that uh, you have to, women ha need support, you know? Yeah. They need to have people around them that will support them, support their dreams, and, um, I think that's, and again, love. <laughs> right. So perhaps, perhaps we all have to start being more careful and more selective about who we hang around with, how yeah. we build our relationships, and how we support each other because support is very important to take us further. I think, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, so, uh, a lot of uh, positivity around us, supporting people, and uh, zero pessimism. You, know, you have to wake up every morning and say, wow, I'm doing what I love. I can do this, I'm a dynamic woman, and everything just goes into place. Great. <laughs> Thank you. And how about you, Marilena? I know that you play a vital role in organizing the marketing campaign of the Mind of Spirit. And I would like you to tell us what skill, particularly, I know that there are many skills, <laughs> but which one? Uh, you have mastered the most connecting with uh, customers and with with what I'm doing and just connecting with everybody in a different level. And that way, I can um, uh, kind of uh, uh, say this, um, market the the MBS, and I can get everything out there. I just I get everything, all my feedback from the people. So let me ask you something. Let's just say I want to have and a table at the exhibition. You go through with me the logistics, I understand. Mm -hmm. You want to learn more about my business. What happens if it doesn't fit 
completely to the mind, body, and spirit, you know, it doesn't fit concept. It doesn't fit all together. I would let the customer know that. If it fits in partially, I would again tell him that you can give it a try and you'll see the results. But I would not uh, tell somebody, okay, come to the mind, body, and spirit, and you'll get 100% uh, success if it's not something that you're feeling with. Um, and this is, and actually this is great because how many of us have we faced the situation where we been sold something but it didn't actually was the right thing for us. So having that is crucial and congratulations for that <laughs> because yes. It's important because if you don't tell the truth it would come out and then it would reflect on the MBS so you have to be honest with the customers. And you want people that come there to succeed. If they don't succeed, that means that the MBS will not succeed. And for how many years are you doing this now? Yeah, I've been involved in the MBS for the, from the beginning, but for the last six years I've been involved in the organization. Okay, so for marketing reasons and advertising reasons, you are the go-to girl? It's marketing, PR, sales, everything to do with people and um, getting out there. Yes, I'm becoming involved in that. Okay, thank you. And I know we've, we've chatted a bit before and we spoke a little bit about what we all learn in building our careers and uh, just working in the world and just being who we are. You know, you're women, you're less people like everyone else. So I remember, I don't know, you were saying something really interesting about how you connect with people in a very specific way. And I wondered if you could tell us. I think you used a really great word, like you said, you read people. Is yes. that right? Um, yes. Um, if, if you have a one-to-one -one, one -one conversation with somebody and you can ask them about their business or what they're doing, you can just you get you get involved in their business. You get and you see it from another side. In that way, I read people in a way where I can give them the best the best of myself and give them kind of um, how can I say it? Um, I would give the best advice how they would proceed with their business. Yeah, so really connecting with what their needs are. It's quite a feminine quality, but, and I just thought it was very interesting for maybe for the woman listening that we can um, uh, work and collaborate with ourselves as as, uh, as women. We don't have to do it in a very aggressive and antagonistic kind of competitive way. Like I think sometimes we think we have to. So you're feeling and sensing I the feel person. Because I feel because I've a lot of people that uh, are very unsure and uh, they're ah, scared yeah. and kind of the confidence and oh, I tell them right. I'm enthusiastic and if I see something that's worth their work, the product, if I like yeah. the product, I will let them know and I will build on their confidence and I will make them understand that it's going to work. I mean, I, if I believe it, it works. If I see something that has potential, it normally goes really well. Great, right. right. And how do you mm -hmm. feel about your skill? Because I've heard you talking about it before. But in <laughs> a skill in marketing and connecting with people, how do you feel? I think it's great. It is very feminine, but it's strong and it's very effective. Well, I know I don't have that skill. I have other skills, but yeah. marketing, selling, you know. yeah. But something I would like to say too about the whole mindset of the mind, body, spirit from the beginning is to use more feminine power. I've had a business before, which was also successful, but I was young and I didn't know, and I just went in there mm -hmm. like a bull. He used to call me that in the post office. He's the bull. Really? So when I then got into mind, body, spirit, I made a very conscious effort, this is for the women listening, to do it in a woman's way, using women's strength. And one of the things we've always done is nurtured our participants because so many of them have really good things to offer and know nothing about marketing, know nothing about how to put themselves out there. And always, sort of, one of the challenges for the MDS is to walking that fine line between, you know, being spiritual, shall we say, and offering, but also being practical. Mm -hmm. And this sometimes is a challenge for women. It's maybe easier for us to just give, give, give. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in order to be sustainable, we also need to be grounded and have good business practice, but not get into this sort of aggression. You know, bottom line, we have to make money. No. Yeah. We have to make money to do what we're doing, mm -hmm. yes, but the bottom line is to help people. And this Marilena has found a way of doing this very, very successfully. And if I may add something here, unfortunately nowadays, women, we live under the misconception that 
we have to be masculine to succeed in mm -hmm. something and we that. tend to forget that being feminine is actually more powerful because when you uh, act from your feminine side you feel you listen to your instincts and how many times we said my instinct my gut feeling yeah. telling me this right. and it, it turned out to come correct yeah. true so that was great one of the other feminine things i think is seeing the whole picture from you know, yes. work holistically we have yeah. to when you're yeah. raising yeah. kids you can't be focused on one thing mm -hmm. we're, we're focusing on many things mm -hmm. so this we have to embrace well. our feminine yeah. side <laughs> Find, find ways of, of bringing ourselves into successful places using our, our all of ourselves but also not being shy and not pulling back from our feminine qualities being able exactly. to bring us forward and to celebrate them. yeah oh, yeah absolutely yeah. working together is one of those qualities we're yeah. not working against each other I'm a better organizer than she is no yeah that's why you know, I like I have skills you have skills yeah. we all have ways of working together. Complement each other. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. going to say, you complement each other. We have the marketing PR expert here. We have Francesca on the other side. The, the, the light. You have the light. <laughs> and how about you, Chris? Uh, I deal with all the administrational work. You see? Oh, stuff <laughs> I hate doing. So, so nice to yeah, the stuff that Marlena hates. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's great to have you um, working with us. We really appreciate coming together and sharing our too. mission we well, you know, value what you're doing thank you thank, thank you so I mean, much uh, it's hard to get a, something new out there that's probably the most out of all the challenges i've had mm -hmm. starting something new is my hardest challenge so mm -hmm. we're doing it yeah very good yeah and it's, it's very important uh, because it gives uh, women the opportunity to come women that don't know how to start or are confused um it's, it's excellent because I know that they can just find everything that they will need. Yeah. I think yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we look forward to spending many years doing what we're doing again and again and we wish you the best. And if there's any last word that you would like to leave for women to remember, maybe it's about the Mind Body Spirit exhibition um, that's coming up, I think. Then twice a year, is that right? Yeah, so twice a year. So presenting Limassol and Nicosia. For those mm -hmm. who want to join, they can just get in touch with you on the website. You can tell us that website. The website is uh, www.mbscyclist.com. Excellent. And when so is the, the MBS exhibition? Um, when? The next one is on the 7th and 8th of November. Mm -hmm. And uh, during spring, it's going to be the one in Limassol. Right, and that's from the April, May, It's like um, uh, March, March, April. April. Yeah. Okay, great. So the last word you'd like to throw out, what would it be? You said something great as well about what's a really important thing for you to remember. I forgot. What did I say? <laughs> you said something about self-care. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. Self-care. Yes. We so need important. to take care of ourselves true, before yeah. we can take care of anybody else. We, we want to nurture. nurture and give to our children, to our partners, to our friends, even mm -hmm. to our parents. Very important, yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. let's not forget ourselves. Exactly. Keep ourselves in good shape, eat well, get enough sleep, have friends, yeah. <laughs> yeah. things yeah. you like, dance, in my case. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then we're in better shape exactly. yeah, to be able to help And then we can else. offer you know, to the maximum. And mothers, yeah. teach your children. Teach your children, nurture them, and teach them they can do anything. Boys and girls. Yeah. Because we have there's a big power in motherhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can use that. What about you, Crystal? Two words or one word, shout it out. Love. <laughs> All you need is love. All you need is love. <laughs> Just to show more love in the more love in your daily life. In everything. Yeah. See so your bracelet says love, love, love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how about you, Marina? I think that uh, follow your passion, try things, stuff. Don't stop it. Do things. Go out there. Mm. So you can get. Yeah, okay. Don't settle. Find don't something settle. you love. Follow your bliss. And you better lobby anything you'd like to leave for the listeners. Cooperate with each other. Mm -hmm. There is no competition here. When we come together as a team, we can achieve many things. And I believe we are the living example here. Uh, we cooperating. We have five ladies, five different individuals, but we are cooperating and 
we are trying to help women. So women can help women and let's stop fighting each other and start supporting yeah. each other. Wonderful, completely agree. And uh, mine would be sacred space. Make sure you find a way every day if you can, if not at least a few times in the week, to reach a point of stillness, to bless or pray or give thanks and grace for what you have and be in a place of peacefulness. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Thank you Thank so much you. for coming. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank us Thank and we look forward to many, many more. Thank you very Thank much, you. ladies. Bye. Thank you. Hi there everybody, this is Helenique. Hi everyone, my name is Helenique. And this is Francesca, Krista, and Penelope. And Francesca, and Krista, and Penelope. Welcome. Cyprus here in the lobby and we're going to have a very interesting chat.